Today we are going to talk about React.js projects for beginners, which you can do to practice your skills and build an awesome portfolio. But before we start, remember to subscribe our channel to not miss any of the future video and turn on the notifications, it's very important. Besides that, give us thumbs up and leave a comment if you would like. and welcome in the next episode. Today I would like to tell you what's the secret in upgrading from junior front-end developer to senior front-end developer really fast. You know what's the most important? Practice, practice and practice. So today I have a list of projects you can do with React.js to practice your skills and build a crazy awesome portfolio. Are you curious? Let's start! So, the first project, and I think it's pretty easy one, you can create using React, would be a simple CRM. So, you would like to display their users, or maybe posts, or maybe meetings with that users. So, you will need a table, you need a menu, you need a functionality to get user from database, you need a functionality to remove a particular user and maybe update the user. Also, you can create something to add a new user. And you can add as many features as come to your mind, like filtering, searching, whatever elements comes to your mind, you can add it. Besides that, it's a great idea to use something like Bootstrap to create this kind of project because you will have lots of ready elements which you can easily convert into components. The next idea for the project that comes to my mind is something that probably everybody would do when they are training their React skills. It's a to-do application. And you can do it in two ways. So you can do it like you have three cars and each of these cars has a different status and you can drag and drop the item from planned, in progress and done. Or you can create one card with different items and I don't know, change color for the items if they are done. For sure you need anything to mark that item was done and something to add a new item. If you don't have an idea for the design, I would prepare something for you so you can see it on the screen right now and you can do similar. The project number three that I would like to tell you about is Unit Measure Calculator. So it's something to convert one measure unit to another measure unit. What do you need there? So you need like two drop downs to select, for example, from what kind of unit you would like to convert to what kind of unit. You need an input to put the value which you would like to convert. So for example, you would like to convert 100 meters to some centimeters and you would like to know how much centimeters it's gonna be. And what else? You need a button to trigger action which will convert the value and you need a box or some paragraph to display the result. Remember that the result should be displayed conditionally. And like in the previous case, if you don't have an idea for the design, I've got something for you, what you can see on the screen right now, so you can do similar. The idea number four is more like a feature in which you can add to a different project but it's about advanced filtering and searching. So what you need in this kind of project? You need a table with data or a list with data and you need a box for advanced filtering so you can filter by existence of any feature or field. You can, for example, if you have table with users, so you can filter by the age, you can filter by nationality, by the gender maybe, and also you can create a search box where action will be done when you will put there more than three characters, for example, and then you will see the live 
changing results in your table. Uh, you can think about combining this kind of project with the CRM or maybe build a project from scratch with those kind of features which can be a little bit easier if you are a beginner. Project number five that you can do using React.js is a movie database. So you can create the application where you will display some movies. You can divide them by categories, for example. And you can use here React Router to create routing and display the details of each movie. You can also add the functionality of commenting under the each movie and maybe upvoting can be a great idea. If you would like to use any API for this kind of project, you can use TMDB API. It's open source, so it's enough to create the account there and that's it. The project number six. I think this one can be quite exciting for the future front-end developers. And it's localization app. In this kind of app, you can use Google Map API and the main concept of the application is to get the localization of the user and display the things that he is searching. So, for example, I'm in the point A and I'm looking for a restaurant. So, you can display me different kind of restaurants that are near B. And maybe the great option is also to show the way for that application. And I think that this kind of project you can later easily convert to a React Native project and make it for mobiles. The project idea number seven is Block. So uh, this project can have a lot of field to grow and maybe you can use it one day, who knows. So what you have to create is the component to display post, the component to display a single post, and some kind of form to add a new post. You can divide it, of course, to a smaller components, reuse some of them, and maybe one day use it as your own block. The next idea for the project is shopping list. The project should be something similar to to-do app, but a little bit different. So, the user should have a possibility to create a shopping list and order the products according selected parameters. Also, he or she should be able to mark a product as bought or delete the product if it was a mistake. Also, a great feature for this kind of application would be to make the products reusable. So imagine that you are always buying apples in the shop and you just would like to add it from your favorites or to type a few words in the input and it's just there. So I think it's a great idea for a next project to your portfolio. And the last ninth idea for the project is a game. It's a memory card game. Probably you know this kind of game from your childhood. If no, let me explain. So there are two users or one user and computer and you have a board like a grid with different images, but you don't see the front of the images and after user click on particular image, he can see it. And when is the win? So each user can click on two images per one order and if he will select two exactly the same images, then he got a point. If not, the images are covered up and the other users start their turn. And then after the different user turn, you are coming back. So this can be pretty challenging, a little bit more advanced, but I think it's a great idea to check your skills and have something different in your portfolio using React.js. And that's it for today. Let me know what kind of projects are you building to train your React.js skills and which one would you like to build from our list. Also, remember that some time ago I posted a JavaScript project and HTML project. 
So if you would like to build your front-end portfolio, remember to check both of these video and maybe build some other projects as well. If you are not very fluent with React.js yet, remember that you can join the only and check out our React.js courses. Also, you can create some applications with us with ready prepared uh, coding playground and instructions. And besides that, you can check out our YouTube channel, our blog, where we have some tutorials about React, so you can learn a little bit and then try to build some of those projects. Okay, if you like the video, remember to give us thumbs up. Also, remember to subscribe the channel, remember to turn on the notifications. You can do this with the red button in the corner. And remember to leave us a comment and share this video with your friends to support us. Thanks for watching! Bye!